Hello, darlings, and welcome to Reactimus, where we react to different performances during the holiday season. Now, if you're new here, hi, I'm Carolyn, but you can call me Care. And today we are reacting to the Tony Awards performance of Next to Normal. Have I ever seen this musical? No. Have you seen this musical? You let me know. To me, I was like, this is the musical that introduced me to Aaron Tivet or Teve or however, I don't care. He is amazing. This is when I realized he could sing because if you also were into Gossip Girl, he was one of Serena's boyfriends, but then he was like, no good. And I was like, oh, but he's so handsome. Why couldn't he have just been good, you know? And then <laughs> I saw this performance and I was like, hold on. And of course I enjoy him in Schmigadoon. So yes, let's go ahead and just Rewatch. It's been a while since I've seen this, but um, his performance in Next to Normal. If you want to watch it on your own without my commentary, no problem. Link in description. But otherwise, let's get to it. Diana, look, I know this is hard. Really? What exactly do you know? I know that you're hurting. I am too. Okay, as my 2000 self, I was like, heck yeah, with the emo. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wouldn't say I was an emo kid, but I really did enjoy like My Chemical Romance, uh, Fall Out Boy. But listen, during those times, my favorite band was um, the All American Rejects. Oh my gosh, does anyone know that band? I loved them so much during that time. I wouldn't say they were emo, you know, rock alternative or whatever it was, you know, but anyways, those lyrics, oh, piercing. I'm sorry, but ooh, it, have you read the obituaries and be jealous of the dead? So, okay. I don't know. I remember when I first saw this, I thought I knew exactly what was happening within this scene. And then I read up on it, but now... I forgot. <laughs> I remember what I thought, and so I know I'm wrong, but I'll share that later. Okay, so when <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh. So when <laughs> I'm laughing because I know it's ridiculous as far as what was actually going on. So, and also please in the comment, by the way, I could be absolutely wrong of what I think this like is happening. So please in the comment section, correct me. So as a kid, what I thought was going on was that they're married and she was like, I'm not feeling this relationship. So she was with this younger guy and the younger guy, well, <laughs> I know this is, I know this is absolutely wrong. The younger guy is inside her mind. Now I believe what I've read was that this was their, sorry, I'm laughing. This, I'm not laughing at what I'm about to say. I'm laughing at how wrong I was. Their son passed away and the mother is having a hard time letting him go. And so she brings in a birthday cake to celebrate his birthday. And the, correct me if I'm wrong here, correct me if I'm wrong here. The father sees that she has a cake for her son and he's like, you gotta just like, stop with this like it's getting ridiculous and she's just like what the heck like I'm still grieving like you don't know how much this hurts and stuff so yeah and also okay again correct me if I'm wrong here I believe she's dealing with a uh, bipolar disorder and so the way that she you know feels on a lot of things um you know, is, is a bit more severe, especially with such trauma. 
So, okay, I don't even know. I might be just making this up at this point, but I, I want to say I remember people being so proud of this musical because it opened up uh, about mental health and stuff. I feel like nowadays everyone's like, yeah, mental health, and they're able to talk about it. But for it to happen in a musical, like it, that was very rare. And again, I do believe that the topic of, of being diagnosed with bipolar was very taboo. Now it's like so many people are like, oh yeah, I have bipolar. And it's like, oh, it's amazing that we can talk about these kind of things. The sensation that you're screaming, but you never make a sound. Or the feeling that you're falling, but you never, never hit, hit the, the ground. ground. Oh, I remember this. Sorry, I remember when I saw her throw the utensils, I was like, ah, and stuff, because I guess in my head as a kid, I was like, if I threw utensils, psh, that's exactly how my parents would walk. And like, I also remember, I, and it's still to this day, I remember not liking the transition of all these two verses that she did. And he's like, and you tell me, but then I end up liking it. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be like, ugh, but ugh, that's Alice Ripley and I know controversial and stuff, but we're here for Aaron. Okay. And this performer here, the one that plays the father, I will say that I don't think he's as connected to this character and it could be because it's the Tony awards. So some people are more like, oh, I'm connected to them because I am them for the show versus being like, and now do this song. And it's like, oh, I have to get into that moment. So to me, like thinking of this, even though I don't know the musical, sorry, but to me in this moment, it's like she just threw the utensil and it's this sense of frustration and also now trying to explain to her like your side of things of like what she's going through. And, and basically to me, it's like, this is just a huge communication moment, but there's, like I said, a disconnect with this performer. Like to me, he's just singing the song and hitting the notes. And so to me, it's like, can you at least punch up one of the words? Like you have a beautiful, you have beautiful words, like can't. And then like, it's just like, I don't know. I'm like, punch up some words so that we can know what is it your character is really stressing on. I just oh, I love this part. So see, okay, so something to remember here. Remember, she kind of was like, oh, because she doesn't want him touching her. But then he's able to like hold her first off. How, how are you not allowed to touch me? But then you can hold my face. Ugh. So things like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I wish it was more like him holding her hand. Like, I'm going to lead you there. I'm going to, you know, something, right? Because this is like too intimate or start with the hand and then get close to the shoulder, then to the face. So then it shows the journey in this. I'm just thinking the blocking here. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> I swear I love this performance, but it, that's what I mean is like, make it make sense. Like now it looks like the husband's thing is like, I'm trying to like hold us all together. Like, I don't want you to go away and you're pushing me away. And here are my intentions. And who knows in the musical that this father has been able to communicate with that to her and stuff. Cause he might not have been saying this to her. And so she feels like she's all alone. So here he is finally saying to her when she's pretty much at her lowest and being like, you don't know. And he goes, I am the one, like I am the, your like 
biggest hero. I don't know, cheerleader. I, I'm your partner, essentially. So again, I'm like, okay, why was it he decides to to leave? Like you finally are able to be in contact with her and you're like, oh, now I'm walking away. So I would have changed. Oh, wait, I just realized this is Aaron's moment. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> Let's do it. First off, our boy there, he is built. He was built. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yeah. So something I want to know is, as far as the mom, is she hearing both at once? That's something I would play with that character. Like, she can actually hear her son and her husband, and it's more like, who is she gravitating towards more? Watch as I drive. Okay, can you understand, like, when I first saw this as a kid, I was like, oh, she's she's a cougar. She's into a younger man and stuff. But it's more of a, I believe, by the way, watch me be completely wrong. But you know what? You're part of this journey now. But it's a mother's love listening to her child. And I also, I'm making up stuff, but it's like, maybe it's a sense of, like, if she is diagnosed with bipolar, she might need to take medication. But then if she takes the medication, she might not hear her son kind of thing. So that is, you know, a different dynamic to think of, of maybe you don't want to seek help or treatment because it's the only way you feel connected to someone that's gone. I mean, it's just too much. It's just, it's like, it's not giving me mom and son. I'm sorry. Did anyone else think that? But yeah, it's just. Uh, Ooh. that taking me out when I first watched it. I was like, how'd she do that? <laughs> like, it's just like, mm, oh, that's not the character choice or look that she needed to do at that moment. And you know what? It's so amazing to me. Like as a kid, I was like, this is amazing. I love this performance. But now that I'm older, now that I have been educated and stuff, I'm like, dude, this actually could have slapped so much harder based on blocking. I do love this part. Okay, please. I know I can't be the only one. This is what I mean. Like this is her. This is what I mean when I'm like, oh yeah, she totally was into this younger guy. And she's just like, it's hard for her to, you know, let go of him. And she doesn't care for this relationship. And this guy's like, uh, her husband's like, I don't know what's up with you. And she's like, cause I got a young dude. 
So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just this Tony performance, but it's just like, can we do things where you know what it is? I don't think it's the sun that should be holding her. I think it's her that should be holding the sun. I think that's the difference because I'm trying to think of when I think of like mom and sons or like see how they are with their mom. A lot of times it's not that they go and hug their mom, but they lean I know I'm sounding crazy. They don't go like, oh, wrap their arms around mom and stuff. They do a lean. They do like a certain sort of like, they'll, it's like that's their way. And then their mom's like, oh my gosh, my baby. Oh, so cute. Oh. And it's like, mom, I'm so old. Leave me alone. So I think that's what I wish was different. Because the way Aaron holds her, it's like, love, love. Who I am. Honestly, that was a really fun reaction because I feel like I was dealing with like my past thoughts and then my current thoughts and yeah. But I would love to know your thoughts about this performance. Aaron said that his voice is like butter. <laughs> I'm so done. It's been a long day, but I hope that you're enjoying this holiday season and don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, take care, darling.